Hi guys, happy Sunday, it's Miss Donna again. Thanks for joining me again today. We're having a lesson today on patience, but we're gonna start with a nice cold glass of iced tea. I like a nice glass of iced tea and mm, it's really good. And it's really good because you see what it has in there? Ice cubes, ice cubes. Drinks are always better with ice cubes, aren't they? Nice cold drink with ice cubes in it. That's always a good thing. Now, you probably have an ice maker in your house, but I don't have an ice maker. Now, if you have an ice maker, that's where the refrigerator just, it just makes ice all on its own. You don't have to do anything. You open the door and you reach in, or some of you have the fancy ones where you just put the glass right up front and the ice cubes drop out. Really, really easy. But some of us don't have ice makers in our refrigerators. So we have to do something different. Have you ever seen one of these? See, it's plastic. They used to be metal, but it's plastic now. And it has all these little pockets. You see that? All the little pockets. Do you know what you do with that? You put water in it, and then you put it in the freezer to make the ice cubes. And it comes out like this. See? All of the ice cubes in there. And here's where patience comes in with the ice cube tray, because you don't really have to be that patient when you have a refrigerator that just makes the ice cubes for you, but you do have to be patient when you make the ice yourself by putting it in the ice cube tray and then putting it in the freezer, and then guess what you have to do? You have to wait until it gets frozen. And you don't wanna take it out before it gets fully frozen because then it'll be frozen on the outside and there'll be water on the inside and you put that in your, in your drink and it'll get all watered down and it won't be as cold as you want it to be. So you have to be patient so that the ice will form and you can put it in your nice cold drink. Mmm, so good, so good. Now, there are a lot of other things in life that you need patience for too. And probably things that you have to be patient for are things like, uh, you have to be patient for the school day to get over with. You keep watching the clock maybe, you watch the clock, oh, and you have to be patient for that. You have to be patient for other things, like maybe you have a favorite sport and you have to be patient until that sport season comes around. Patient for, maybe you have to be patient because you love Christmas. Well, here it is in June. We have to be patient because Christmas doesn't come for another six months. So we have to be patient for that. And another thing you might try to be patient for, all you kids, you all want to grow up too fast. I can't wait till I get older. I can't wait till I can drive. Well, you know what? It will come. You have to be patient. Now, the Bible teaches us that we need to learn patience because it probably doesn't come naturally to you. You have to, you're like, oh, oh, I can't wait till it happens. We have to learn patience. And a lot of things take time. And you need to spend time uh, being patient because if, you, if you're impatient and you spend time being impatient, you're not living your life. You're not enjoying the moment. That time that you're waiting for, it will come. It will come. So be in the moment, enjoy the moment, try not to be impatient. If, we tr if we're impatient, then we're not accepting what God has for us each and every day, okay? So try and think of that. The Bible tells us that patience is also one of the fruits of the Spirit. And that you'll find that in Galatians. And in Hebrews 10, 36, our verse for today, it tells us, for you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise, which is what you're being patient for. So next time that you feel impatient, just remember the ice tray, okay? Remember the ice tray. You have to be patient and wait for the ice to form, okay? 
The Bible teaches us to learn patience, so let's try and learn that, okay? Let's end with prayer. Father God, we thank you for this glorious day. We thank you for all the many things that you've promised us. And Lord, we pray that we will have patience to wait for them to come. We thank you for the blessings that you've given us this week. And we ask that you would be with us in the week to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me for another little while. You have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.